what they th think about, um, I mean, they've been so responsive with different parts of the film, but particularly people come up to me and say, you know, I can't believe he drank all that DDT. I mean, that's well, pretty shocking. Yeah, it is. Uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't have drank it if I didn't know of its toxicity. You know, right. I drank a lot of it. It was 100,000 yeah. times the dose mm -hmm. uh, that people were exposed to when they were using it at its heaviest uses, you know, back in the 1960s. Um, but it's completely safe. And uh, many people come in, did you really drink that? I said, yes, right. I did. I've got blood, you know. And, mm -hmm. and people that know me know that I would not pull up shenanigan right. and be drinking baby powder or anything. Yeah. In fact, uh, a, a really, really funny story. Uh, when I was getting ready to film the, the first part of that, I called uh, a cameraman. He's, he works for the news down in San Diego. Really good uh, cameraman. And uh, got him lined up to come up, and we were going to uh, shoot the, my drinking of that big mother load amount yeah. of DDT. And uh, he, he said, okay, no problem, blah, 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 blah. Well, he got on the Internet and started doing a little research. And so I get a text mm -hmm. at 1.30 in the morning from him. We're supposed to start filming the next morning at 10 o'clock. He said, like, dude, I right. cannot come up there and film that. I did some research on DDT and this stuff is cancer causing and nuclear waste and everything else. Mm -hmm. And I had to talk him down. I, had, right. I, I called him on the phone and said, listen, don't you, he's like, look, th I'm not going to film a suicide attempt. This is liability. I don't have the insurance for it. Right. I'm like, look, I'm a doctor. I know the toxic. You think I'm going to try to do something to harm myself? Right. And so I finally got him in there and I, it took me about 30 minutes to sell him on the fact that I knew what I was talking about. That you weren't going to kill yourself and, and right. drop dead right, right. on I his watch. Do that. Right. So uh, he did come that morning, thank goodness, mm -hmm. and uh, he was blown away. He knew it was DDT. You know, I let him smell it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, I cannot believe this. Oh my God, I've told my girlfriend about it. I want to get this all over the news and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Well, of course, that's a phone call I need to make because he right. probably doesn't even know that it's out it's yet. It's out, yeah. Um, but see, that's what happens. People uh, just got sold a bill of goods about DDT. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like so many of these government scams. This scam that we bought onto due to Rachel Carson in the beginning in the environmental movement has resulted in more deaths than anything on the history of Earth. Yeah. World War One, Two, World War One, World War Two, the Black Plague, uh, the genocide that happened with all the Jewish people. Right. None of those things. All of those combined yeah. have not resulted in as many deaths as the ban of DDT has.